Ah, uh, these are the outtakes that nobody sees, basically getting stuck in the driveway with the uh, new trailer. Good thing we spent all morning washing this thing for you guys to see it clean and <laughs> it is destroyed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome back. We are outside today because it is absolutely beautiful. Michael still in a sweatshirt, but it is, I am, I am already down to the t-shirt. It is going to be 60 degrees today, so what better day to start working on the old PJ trailer. We have got a stack of lumber here because I told you guys before this goes off to one of you guys, uh, we are going to replace the deck. So, Thus far, it has not been uh, it has not been going extremely well. Uh, all of our screws and our Torx fasteners are, uh, are 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 very happy where they are. So they're going to take some persuasion, but we are uh, we're getting there. That's what we're going to work on today. Like I mentioned, this trailer could be your shameless plug of the day. Wrenchworks.com. You can take this PJ trailer home for ten dollars. Ten dollars gets you one entry and you could be driving this thing all over the place, picking up all of your broke down buddies, all of that stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's the plug of the day. We are just gonna jump right into work. We got a lot of work to do, um, and we will keep you guys updated. Michael, you've, you've done this before, right? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna learn today. Gonna learn today. The last and final thing before we get to work here, I just want to uh, tell you guys how much Silent Mike and I appreciate all of the love and support that you guys give us and have given me over the last couple years. It uh, cannot happen without you guys, so just a huge thank you. I want to say that I appreciate every single one of you guys that support the channel. That you guys are that hit the like button uh, and subscribe and all that stuff and support Wrenchworks. But uh, also, just want to quick mention, uh, you will hear. Uh, uh, some uh, quick shout outs here in the beginning from time to time. It doesn't happen without you guys and it doesn't happen uh, without a couple companies that really stand behind us and the channel as well. They love us just as much as you guys love me and Silent Mike. So uh, just know that in the beginning, I will never support anybody that doesn't support us uh, for any type of, I don't even know what you want to call that. But anyway, if you hear some stuff in the beginning of the videos, it's really just the fact that they support us. Uh, they want to see us continue to make the keep making these awesome videos uh, but that's really all that is to it you know just short and simple you know we love you guys we love the support other companies love us just as well and uh, we want to support them so that's it it's time to get to work
right, my friends, little midday update. As you can see, we've got all of the wood cut and placed on the uh, back section of the dove. The nice clean lumber actually looks really, really good. So we finally got a system down um, and we're starting to cruise along. As you can see, I've got this section completely torn apart too. We're basically mimicking the exact layout of what it was. Obviously, these are just solid. Uh, the sides are solid and then they kind of have the uh, middle split up here a little bit. But uh, all of the fasteners actually Actually seem to be coming out decently well in the middle. I think nature of the beast with all the stuff that slings from the tires, these in this section uh, were not as nice, but everything in the middle seems to actually just be coming out. So uh, you're going to need some Torx bits to uh, do this job. As you can see, we've got an assortment of some wood because these have some notches in them very slightly, but huge shout out to the guys over at Diamond C. When we went down and picked up the new trailer, they actually uh, hooked us up with the lumber and all of the the new fasteners. Uh, I believe the new fasteners are in the box, but uh, everything is actually going smoothly. Uh, not a terrible job, just a time consuming job. Um, if we have anything that breaks off, we are kind of grinding that smooth with some combat abrasives uh, flap wheels and then painting it so there's no bare uh, steel or anything like that. But moving along, she's looking good. And we're just going to keep chugging. It's really just, uh, you know, remove the uh, torque screws, get up, the, get up those boards. And as you can see, we've got a chop saw and a table saw because there is a section in the middle that needs to be ripped down. So we're doing that and really uh, just following along with uh, how it was. But looking, looking good. And what we're going to end up doing is pre-drilling all of the holes in the wood and the steel uh, before we go ahead and sink those fasteners in just to make sure no boards uh, crack or anything like that. But we are looking good. I actually never thought the uh, old deck was really in that bad a shape, but now that we're taking it up, it definitely was time. So I'm definitely glad we're doing this uh, for one of you guys who is, uh, who's going to be taking this thing home. Well, or either that or getting it delivered. So the other thing... <clears throat> The other thing real quick, sorry, my voice my voice is going out here after lunch, but uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention that I didn't mention uh, is we are running a little behind on orders. I know a lot of you guys are still waiting on your stuff. All of the snowstorms all over the uh, East Coast and then the snowstorms that came here, uh, we are working on getting everyone caught up. So if you guys have pending orders, I apologize. Trust me, we are getting through them as quickly, as quickly as possible. So if you haven't gotten tracking, everything is still good, you know, nothing's lost. Uh, uh, it's really just us trying to get caught up. So appreciate you guys. And anyway, after lunch, back to work. guys looky looky what we have got we have got the deck completely cut uh you can't really see there's no uh there's no screws it's not fastened down but we got all of the cuts done everything fits super nice super tight uh really really happy not bad for a couple first timers but uh it's probably real hard to tell on the camera but it uh it has made the trailer look brand new again honestly really uh happy that we did this i know i said that but the more that wood that we took up uh the more and more that i'm glad that we did it it was pretty rotted underneath in some areas that you couldn't really see but just makes the trailer look really nice really fresh won't have to worry about it for a while it is still pretty michael's michael's backing out Woo, look at that 450. Dang. 
Uh, the wood is still pretty fresh. Uh, I was actually contemplating on trying to stain it for you guys as well. Uh, but honestly, we need to wait a little bit until it kind of dries up. So we're probably going to skip that step. But tomorrow we are going to hit it hard again. Is that a vacuum cleaner? But anyway, guys, uh, not a hard job. Like I said, I'm just repeating myself. Not a hard job, just a time consuming job, but uh, not bad at all. Me and, uh, me and Michael knocked it out. There were some cuts and some notches that we had to do. And really the middle took the longest because it's so uh, intertwined. We wanted to make sure everything fit tight, fit, you know. It's just a, just a good thing we got you here, you know, just because sometimes Greg and those, those yellow things, the tape measures, you know, they just, uh, sometimes they don't, uh, get along a lot of lines a lot of lines you know we're actually going to make sure that all of our screws are nice and lined up and of course there's a motorcycle coming don't worry don't worry just trying to just trying to talk here no big deal so we're going to make sure all of our screws are straight we're going to snap some lines and then wash it off afterwards but what we're going for is really just uh make sure that this looks as professional as possible we had first thing this morning we got the monsters cracked open went to cabela's scored some deals we're ready to rip this morning we're feeling good Start drilling? Just start drilling all the wood so it doesn't take you forever. <laughs> we're having a little a little team meeting here uh, whether we're going to risk it for the biscuit and the answer would be yes but uh, we've got some pretty heavy clouds coming in but it looks kind of clear over there but we also have chalk lines so we've gotten this section down we've got a, a little bit of a pattern we actually had to run out uh, because if you're going to do a job like this you might want to grab some extra drill bits uh, we found drill bits that work for doing the wood and then doing the metal nice we got a nice system down and we're sinking them in really really nicely so super happy with how everything is uh, doing we're pre-drilling everything just to ensure we don't crack splinter we just I mean we want a perfect job for whoever takes this baby home so we're pre-drilling everything Thing. and then the screws are actually which are not out here because we put them away uh oh hey <laughs> you know these uh these are making new threads in there so it's working out good we're uh we're super pleased as long as the uh weather seems to hold off we uh we'll be okay what do you think you think we'll be good i don't think it's gonna rain off but it sure all right well you heard the man we betting lunch on it bet and lunch all right we'll see if it rains we'll show you guys the proof anyway we're gonna we're gonna start ripping we're gonna start here on the back and get moving something we forgot to anti-seize all the bolts we're gonna have to take them all up again we gotta take this whole trailer up guys we forgot to anti-seize all that stuff anyway look at this beautiful beautiful sight we have got all of the deck screws in they are perfect uh we did manage to kill a complete another set of drill bits so uh if you guys are gonna do this again i'm not really sure uh let me know in the comment section if there is a easier way when i was down at diamond c i know they had like a machine like a like a basically a deck screwing machine that kind of looks like it's belt fed you can basically just stand there and drill and and i don't know maybe that is the fastest way possible but if you don't have that machine if there's another way i just wanted to ensure 
positive engagement on everything. Michael was laying them down and you can see they're all pretty much flush. They're really, really nice, not too sunken in, but uh, the size drill bits that we used were uh, 930 seconds and 1964, something like that. Uh, everyone's deck screws are gonna be different, uh, but these were just a little bit oversized from the last set of holes, which is really nice. We got fresh holes drilled uh, and all the screws had a really nice, um, again, thread engagement. I wanted to make sure that they weren't uh, loose, they weren't gonna pull up, but I think for our first time, I think we are pretty much decking professionals. I wouldn't uh, consider speed uh, the best part of what we did, but I would say we did a very, very good job. Very happy with all of the gaps and how everything laid out, and this is going to last a very, very long time for whoever wins this baby. So one more thing checked off the list, and this thing, this thing really just needs a good detail job, and it is ready to go, so. Another new, uh, another new thing learned. Uh, not that our Diamond C is really going to ever probably need the deck replaced because of that new uh, decking that they put on there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pumped. Me and Michael are, uh, we're, we're pretty whooped. So there she is, PJ Trailer, new lease on life, ready to go for the next set of many, many miles. The brakes are in good shape. The tires are in good shape. Everything is ready to rock. I guess I owe you lunch because it didn't rain. <laughs> That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys head over to wrenchworks.com. Grab everything that is left on the website. We are less than two weeks away uh, from ending the giveaway. Again, we are working extremely hard to get everybody's orders out as quickly as possible. So thank you guys for uh, your support and understanding with all of that stuff. So hopefully the warm days continue to rock on and uh, we're ready to kind of get back outside. It's been nice and it's supposed to rain for the next couple weeks, but um, yeah, ready for summer are ready for spring uh, because it is going to be here before you know it. Anyway, make sure you guys hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.